guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Wednesday, April 4th, 2024. Let me check. It's Wednesday, April 3rd, 2024. And I am coming on here with a uh, yarn yucking video for April. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. I like yarn a lot and I make stitch markers. So if you could go check out my Etsy shop, it is linked down below in the description box. If you could favorite the shop and favorite a few items, it really does help me out a whole lot and I do appreciate it. So I live here in the Chicago area. I have one daughter, her nickname is Carrots, like the vegetable. And I have one rescue dog, his name is Camo. So um, yarn yakin videos basically consist of me talking about uh, if I get any happy mail, which by the way, you never have to send me any happy mail. Uh, if I've ordered anything, if I went yarn shopping, if I have any finished objects, I don't usually show whips on this channel. So, um, so that's what today is gonna be about. And I'm sure if you guys watch some other YouTubers, you will have known that I was with some very special people last week. And I'll tell you all about that too. So let's get some admin stuff out of the way before we go into the good stuff. <laughs> so uh, this YouTube podcast has a Facebook group um, and everything I talk about will be linked down below in the description box. So if you want to join the group, there's three questions you have to answer. They're really easy. Just go and join. We have a really good time over there. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram. It's at Rose Likes Crochet. Uh, feel free to tag me in any giveaways that you see so that I can um, enter those too. <laughs> and uh, if you are not on Instagram, but you want to see what I post on Instagram, you can follow my Facebook business page. And like I said, these are all linked down below in the description box. So just so you guys know, in the Facebook group, I normally don't post my finished objects. I leave that for like you guys to post there. And in the Facebook business page, that's where the Instagram finished object posts get added there. They're connected. <laughs> All right. So then I have the Etsy shop and there are more things for sale in there just um, than the then just stitch markers. I have loveys and toys and all kinds of things in there. Um, shawls, uh, baby blankets, all kinds of stuff. So go check it out. Now, last month, which was March, I had a sale in my Etsy shop on my stitch markers and I have decided to extend that sale for April. So it is going to be buy three, get one free of my stitch markers. And that is up to a $5 value. So you do have to put four stitch marker sets in your cart. <laughs> and then once I send you the shipping information, I refund you the $5 and send you the tracking information. I haven't figured out still how to make Etsy do that for me. So that's how we're doing it. Um, and the reason is because there's going to be a new adventure coming <clears throat> for me, but I have to clear out some of my inventory first. So I have not started on the new venture. Um, I just need to get some of the stitch markers, the old inventory cleared out before I do that. So go check it out. Uh, buy three, get one free up to $5 of the stitch markers. Okay. Uh, so Etsy, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, um, not really on there a whole lot. And there is a spring shop link down below also if you wanna get Rose Likes Crochet merchandise. So, all right, I think that's good enough for, if you have any questions, just send me an email. We are still doing wings this year. Go check out the wings videos that um, have been on. The last wings video update was pretty cool. There was lots of dolls, <clears throat> handmade dolls, and I was able to bring, <clears throat> Um, I was able to bring those to Wings last Saturday, and I do have a picture of all the little dolls on the table. Um, and so if you want to take a look, I'm going to insert that picture here. And a lot of the little people that I saw come and pick up their Easter baskets were very, very excited about the dolls. Just going to tell you that right now. So kudos to you guys for making the little Amigurumi dolls um, because the little people loved it over there. So thank you so much for doing that. I also wanted to talk about another little charity thing that I am doing on this channel, and it is for an organization called We Pop Up. And this is being kind of... Um, spearheaded by my local friend Paula. Um, she works with this organization and they are asking for washcloths. So they are apparently collecting them twice a year and it's coming up upon the time that they're gonna be asking for them. So if you would like to donate any washcloths to this organization, they are linked down below as well in the description box. And um, it can be any size, any color, um, 
washcloth. Okay, so you can send me as many as you want, whenever you want. Um, I have not received any yet so far, um, but they won't. there won't be a separate video on those. It'll just be part of the Yarn Yakin video. So if you guys are interested in doing that, I am more than happy to collect them for my friend Paula for that organization. All right, I think that's it. All right, so I have some happy mail, just one piece. <laughs> it's just a letter or a card. I don't know what's in there. And I think I know who this is from. Um, I ordered, uh, if you guys don't watch um, Love, in Any, Love in Every Stitch by Ruby Baby, her name is Angie. I will link her down below in the description box. And I recently purchased a crochet t-shirt from her, which it's too cold outside to be wearing a t-shirt, so that's why I'm not wearing it. But <laughs> um, it looks like this is a thank you card from her. So I will link her down below so you guys can go check her out. She designed a whole bunch of really cool crochet items and I got one of her, I bought one of her t-shirts. She did not gift it to me, I bought it. Okay, so let's see, oh, okay. She goes, hey, cousin Rose, everyone is her cousin, by the way. I just wanna show my appreciation for you and our connection here on YouTube. I have these little trinkets I wanted to share with you. Thanks for all you do from Angie. Um, and she's Ruby Baby. So um, this is really cool. This is a little stitch marker. I'm going to show you guys. Oh my gosh, it's a little yarn hank. Check that out. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, thank you Angie for that. And then I have a yarn chicken sticker. <laughs> yarn chicken. Oh my god, he's so cute. And then I have a coaster. <laughs> and it's someone buried in some balls of yarn and she's saying, I'm okay, it's good, I'm okay, it's fine. <laughs> Angie, thank you so much for the thank you card and for all the little trinkets, I love them. You guys, I will link her down below in the description box. You should go and check her out. She's been doing like all these, um, what are those scrappy hats where you don't leave in the ends? Oh yeah, she was on a big kick for those for a while. So thank you so much, Angie, and I love the t-shirt. You did a great job designing those. So you guys go and check her out. Okay, this is my other piece of happy mail, which um, I ordered. <laughs> so there is this other great lady. I'm gonna talk about all kinds of great people here on YouTube, you guys. Her name is Victoria, and she used to live in Alaska. So the name of her channel is uh, Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria. And I have gotten several bags from her, and I was watching her channel because she does a lot of sewing and quilting. And she was showing some recent makes that she had. And I had to get one of the items, and I will show you what it is. Uh, let me get it out of the plastic, hang on. Okay, she like taped, <laughs> she has like a Ziploc and it was taped and it's wrapped and there is a card here. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, she makes beautiful, beautiful items. She also crochets, you guys. So if you do not follow Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria, you need to go and follow her. I'll link her down below. Okay, so let's see what the card says. It's a thank you card. <clears throat> thank you card. Hi, Rose. Thank you so much for your purchase from my shop. I appreciate it so very much. Enjoy your something something pouch <laughs> you'll see it in a second from victoria so you guys go and check her out you know i'll link her um etsy shop too uh i believe that's where she sells all of her items so let's open this up now i bought this specifically for another person who lives in my house <laughs> and there's only one other person who lives in my house it's my daughter and she loves sea turtles and i saw that victoria had this it's a little accessory pouch. It's got a box bottom. Uh, my daughter does not crochet or do art crafts, but I'm pretty sure she will find something to put in there. Um, so it's just like a zippered notions pouch. And the inside is just plain blue. And the back of it has this swirly material on it. So I am going to gift this to her. I might wait for a special occasion that is coming up very soon <laughs> to gift it to her. Um, so Victoria, thank you so much. Your work is immaculate. I absolutely love it. And I can't wait to give this to her. Okay, so the next thing I will talk about is um, where I was last weekend. <laughs> and for those of you who watch a couple of people, you will already know where I was. <laughs> so uh, there's this fabulous guy named Gary and his channel is called Urban Yarn. And he made a trip up to the United States. He's from Canada to visit with myself and Crystal at Bag O'Day. 
So I picked Gary up at the airport and dropped him and his husband off at a hotel downtown Chicago and they spent a couple days down there. Then I went and picked them back up again and we drove down to see Crystal. So we had a great time. We spent a couple of days together and uh, when we were all done, uh, we drove back and made another stop. <laughs> and then I went back and dropped them off at their hotel in Chicago. They did a couple more days of sightseeing and then they went home. So I am going to show you. Um, yeah, so by the way, it's Gary from Urban Yarn and Crystal from Bag o Day. Um, and they are absolutely amazing. We had a fabulous time. Uh, we ate sushi. Crystal didn't eat sushi, but um, Gary and I ate sushi. And it was Gary's birthday, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be mad at me for saying it. But I'm not going to tell you the day. I'm just going to tell you that it was Gary's birthday, and we celebrated with Gary. So on our way to see Crystal, so it was me, Gary, and Chad. I drove. Um, we stopped for lunch, and across the street from the lunch place was a Michael's. So Gary and I went into Michael's. Chad picked us up a little bit later, like 10 minutes later, he came in and um, we did a tiny bit of shopping at that Michael. So let me show you what I got. Hang on. All right, you guys. So I had a $10 reward, I believe. I think. I think I had a $10 reward. Okay, so I had a $10 reward and I picked up some of this Loops and Threads Impeccable. And I picked up three, these three colors and it's because... They were on sale for $4.99 and I think there was, I don't know if there was a 50% off or not. I just know I had a $10 voucher and I think all the yarn was on sale. I think that's what it was. It was 30% off <clears throat> all yarn and then I had a $10 voucher. So these were like, I don't know, it says $4.99. Um, but they, their receipts are kind of funky when you use a coupon. Anyway, my total for these three balls of yarn was 51 cents. So there, <laughs> so that's what I did. I got these. So this one is the Loops and Threads Impeccable. It's 180 yards, three ounces. I'll show you guys, there you go. 165 meters, 85 grams. The color is Red Moulin. It's a four weight. They recommend five millimeter knitting needles and crochet hook. Machine wash warm, tumble dry low. And like I said, it's 100% acrylic. I'm trying to see where it's made. Um, believe it or not, oh, it's underneath the label here. Made in Turkey. So I got two of this color and then we were trying to figure out which color matched. And this was the closest we could come. There, had, there were a couple other shades of red, but this one, it doesn't look like it matches, but the dark color in here matches this color. Now this, because it's a solid color, has more yards. This has 285 yards, and the color on this one is called burgundy. So I got these three balls for 51 cents. I was pretty happy with that. <laughs> and then um, we, we went to, Gary, Chad, and I went to the Walmart, which is Crystal's Walmart. And then there was a Dollar Tree there and there was a Goodwill store there. We didn't find anything at the Walmart. The yarn section was terrible. Um, we didn't find anything at the Goodwill, but at the Dollar Tree, I found some stickers. Um, so I use these kinds of stickers on my mailing labels when I mail out Etsy orders. So I just stocked up on these. I thought these were really cool. Um, and then I got gifts from well, we brought a lot of stuff for Crystal. Um, we had some special, I don't know if you guys saw her live, was it her live stream? The other day she showed the shoes that um, Gary and I bought her. We did get her some other things that were related to a million dollars, like a million, because she has her million, she finally reached a million subscribers. So we got her a bunch of cool stuff. So we were all exchanging gifts. And then Gary gave me a gift. He gave me a whole bag of yarn and I did not realize that was coming. Um, so let me show you the yarn that Gary gave me. And then Crystal gave me some stuff too. Hang on. So this is the bag that Gary gave me. <laughs> it's so cute. It's a Hirschner's Garden Party Collection bag. So I'm going to show you. And he put like a bar of lavender soap in here, you guys. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> so I've got that bag. And then he gave me like this laundry bag. He had to stuff all this in his suitcase, you guys. All right. So let me show you what Gary gave me. He gave me uh, this 
which is cashmere gold, Madame Tricot, uh, a hank of this. That's so pretty. And then he also gave me this, which is Uptown Yarns, hand dyed. And let me see what it says this one is. It's so soft, you guys, super soft. It doesn't say what kind of yarn it is, but it's like really, really soft. So I got this hank. Oh, there's two of them. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so soft. So I have two of these and then the one of, of this one. And this is the soap that he gave me, which is making everything smell really good. Sorry, that was upside down. I don't know, I could keep this like in a laundry basket or something and everything would smell really good. I got one of these, which is a Soft Essential Stripes, which I think I have other ones like this too. He gave me this, which to me looks like a cookie. I don't know if you guys remember the Hobby Cookies, um, but this is called Hobby Tea Time and it's color number eight. They don't usually have colors on there. It's 100% acrylic and it's a four weight. And let me see how many yards, 634 yards. So you guys, that could be like a hat and a cowl or a hat and a scarf. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, I love it. Gary, you're the best. Then he gave me two of these. Uh, it's called Punt, uh, Lin, Lini, uh, Punta, number 43. And it's like super, it's super soft. It looks like it would not be soft. Um, it is 45% viscose rayon, 45% nylon, and 10% acrylic. It's like super soft. It feels like, um, like a latte cake. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it's super, super, super nice. And then the other two things he gave me are this, uh, no boundaries yarn and this is really cool too it's sparkly you guys it's a 50 gram ball um, I thought this was kind of interesting because I thought this brand was um, a clothing brand from Walmart maybe um, maybe it's somehow related I don't know <laughs> I don't know but anyway Gary gave me all that and then he gave me um, a little what do you call it? An ornament. <laughs> um, I don't do Christmas, but I'm going to hang him somewhere. It's a little moose ornament. Isn't he cute? Oh my gosh. I'm going to hang him on like a dresser pole or something. He's adorable. Gary, thank you so much. You did not have to bring me anything, but I so appreciate it. This guy is so cute. Thank you so much for the yarn too. So <clears throat> as we're sitting there at Crystal's house, I don't know. I hope Crystal didn't feel bad that she didn't have something prepared but she gave Gary some yarn and I think he just did a video on that I haven't watched it yet and she gave me some yarn so let me show you what she gave me she's so generous you guys hang on all right you guys so before I even get into the yarn I have to show you the best thing that I got on the entire trip was from Crystal's daughter she was she's made uh, she's an artist she's a really good little artist and she made all these little squares and I think Gary might have already showed the the artwork that he got um, but uh, they call her Rose <laughs> and she's adorable and we got to hang out with her and um, one of Crystal, two of Crystal's other kids and I was gifted this picture from Rose. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I did have to do a trade with her, so she did get something of mine. I'm not going to tell you what it was, <laughs> but I had to trade her something for um, for this picture, but it's gorgeous. I'm going to put it on my refrigerator, so thank you so much, Rose. I know she's not watching, but maybe Crystal will watch and tell her I said thank you, although I did thank her while we were there. So then Crystal gifted me, oh my gosh, you guys, we were talking about making shawls. And she gifted me one of these. What? This is a sheep, sheep jeez. I know that's not how you pronounce it. It's a whirly gig. It is 80% virgin wool and 20% alpaca. And then we were talking about how, you know how in shawls, what were we talking about? The um, premier, the butterfly yarn, I think it was, or something where it's like a really thick, um, like the, like the insides, there's not a whole lot of color. And then the outside is really thick. And I said, maybe that's because by the time you get to the end of the ball, you're at the end of your shawl and you have such a thin color at the end. Right. 
And she goes, well, yeah, I figured that out when I was, she made a shawl out of this for her channel. So she actually bought an extra ball of the outside color. Here, I'll show you. Because that's exactly what happens is you run out of, I don't even know how to open this, you guys. <laughs> you run out of the very last color, right? Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is, this is the cake. I know you guys can see that. And you can see that there's like a lot of this, you know, it's all, like there's a lot. You're going to see a lot of this in the shawl. But then when you get to the end, there's hardly anything left. And you get a really, really thin, you know, like one or two rows of the last color. So she picked up this to match that. And she gave me both of these. Isn't that so generous? Oh my gosh. This color is called color 209 plum to red. And it's a whirly gig. So I am so excited. Thank you so much, Crystal, for gifting me this. It's so beautiful. I'm so excited. I don't know what I'm gonna make with it yet. Because she also gave me something else, you guys. <laughs> She goes, she goes, do you like the color black? And I'm like, well, yeah, but who likes working with black? She goes, I have something for you. <laughs> she gave me this set of yarn from Expression Fiber Arts. Oh my gosh, can you guys see that? Oh, the purple. Okay, let me tell you what it says here. Expression Fiber Arts, it's called Charming Hues Sparkle DK. It's 60% superwash merino, 26% nylon, 10% baby alpaca, and 4% metallic. And it's got a total of 1,100 yards. Hand wash only, lay flat to dry. When life is rough, make soft things. And these are the colors that are in there. So that's totally enough for a shawl. And what a beautiful faded shawl, like when you fade those colors together. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so pretty. So Crystal, thank you so much <laughs> for your hospitality, first of all, and your generosity and uh, for this beautiful set of yarn and this beautiful cake of yarn. Oh my gosh. If you don't follow Crystal from Bag o Day, I'm not sure what's going on. You should follow Crystal from Bag o Day and go over and congratulate her. She made her million subscribers. So we're very, very excited. So the other place that we went um, with Gary <laughs> for yarn shopping was Hobby Lobby. And unfortunately, the day that we went, the yarn was not on sale. But um, I don't know if Gary said it in his video, but um, there was a fight at the registers to see who was going to pay for Gary's yarn. And um, Gary didn't win. <laughs> and I didn't win. And Chad didn't win. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So I did get a couple of things because I was um, I, I don't know. I haven't been yarn shopping in a while. So let me show you what I got at Hobby Lobby. Hang on. Okay. I didn't get a whole lot, but I did find, uh, something that I hadn't seen before and I don't know how, but I found this ball of, I love this yarn and it's a tweed yarn and the color is called gray confetti. And it is a four weight, hundred percent acrylic and I just love the colors of the confetti on there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, so the, none of this stuff was on sale. That's why I didn't get a whole lot. It was regularly $4.99. Uh, five ounces, 142 grams, 252 yards, 230 meters. It's not 100%, excuse me, acrylic. It's 90% acrylic, 8% viscose, and 2% polyester. And it is a four weight. They recommend five millimeter knitting needles, and 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So I got one. I think that would make a beautiful hat. And I love how soft the I Love This yarn is. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Then I found these two. Of course, they're purple. And I don't know why I don't have these because they're so pretty. This is Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek Low Pill Fiber. Four ounces, 186 yards. It's called Berry Mix. It is made in Turkey. Oh, I didn't even tell you where this one was made. Probably made in Turkey. Yeah, made in Turkey. Um, this one is 100% low pill acrylic and they're all machine wash and dry, five millimeter knitting needle and crochet hook, 186 yards, 170 meters. So for two of those, I'm pretty sure I could get a hat, and maybe a cowl out of that too. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Like this color, oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, look at this color right there. 
So pretty. Okay, so I got those two. And then the only other thing I picked up was this Crafter Secret cotton. And the reason, and I don't know if you guys watch me, you will have known that I already made a market bag with this yarn. It's called Hot Pink, H-A-U-T-E. And I already made a market bag with this, but someone took it from my house. <laughs> it was my niece. She loves the market bags that I make and she went through my bin and she took it. So I bought these four so that I can make another one <laughs> because my niece is very crochet. Um, she is worthy of anything handmade. So um, I let her take it and I bought these four so that I could make another one. So that was it for Hobby Lobby. So when we were all done with Crystal's place, not, not, we were, not, like, not like we were done with Crystal, we wanted to stay longer, but um, I had to go back to work and Gary and Chad had to go back home too. So on our way back, and if you watch my girlfriend, Lisa, from Happy to Hook Creations, you will have already seen what happened at her house <laughs> because she is kind of on our way back to Chicago from Crystal's. So we stopped over by her. We were going to have lunch um, at a restaurant, but it was closed. We wind up, wound up meeting at Hobby Lobby. Um, there may have been some hugging going on at Hobby Lobby between Gary and Lisa and me and Lisa. Um, and we did not buy anything else at Hobby Lobby. Her local Joanne store was closing. We did go in there to see what it looked like and it was, there was nothing left. Um, and then we went to have lunch and then we went back to her house because she ordered yarn from me for me about, I don't know, three months ago. She, she messaged me once and she was like, Hey, this yarn is on sale. Do you want some? And I was like, sure. So I sent her the money for the yarn. And literally that was like three months ago. So she's like, come to my house so I can give you your yarn. <laughs> so we did go to her house. I picked up the yarn she gave me. I'll show you that in a second. And we helped um, Lisa put some stuff away in her yarn room. So if you want to see the video for that, that's on Lisa's channel. And I'll link Lisa down below too. So um, let me, let me get that bag. Hang on. Okay. So she was shopping on Hobby Lobby's website literally like three months ago. And she's like, Oh, they have this cotton yarn on sale. I don't know. It was like a dollar 62 or a dollar 26 or something like that. And I was like, yeah, go ahead and pick some up for me. So she picked up eight balls of yarn for me and I sent her the money and I finally got my yarn <laughs> the other day. So it is the Hobby Lobby crafter secret and the color is called lavender. And these have 120 yards in them. So I need at least three or four to make a market bag. So I had her pick up eight for me. So there's six and then there's an extra two. So that's that was what I got when I went to go see Lisa. I did forget when we were with Crystal, there was a grocery store where we went and got some birthday cakes. It was called Kirby Foods. And they had these little um, Beanie Boos there. You guys, I had to get them. I know I don't need to make any more lovies. I do, but look at how cute. It's a little skunk and it's a little purple cow. And these were $6.99 each, I believe. Let me check. Anyway, yeah, are they cute? Oh my God, I can't wait to turn them into lovies. So that was it. And you know what, you guys? I think in the last Yarn Yakin video, I told you that I had a Michaels order and I couldn't find the box. I found the box. So let me get the box because we are going to open that up. Hang on. All right, you guys. So here is the box. I just took the invoice off the top, <laughs> which is right here. And there's no prices on it. So I don't remember what, they, what the cost was. It just tells you how many that they shipped. Um, let me see. When did I place this order? I ordered it on March 8th. So it has been almost a month since I've, I mean, they didn't ship it that day, right? But they shipped it pretty quickly and I just found the box. <laughs> so from March 8th to April 3rd, whatever, it's all, it's been a month. <laughs> so I know for a fact that I ordered a picture frame um, because if you guys remember, I made a blanket for my uh, cousin's brother-in-law from some granny squares that his mom had left behind after she passed. And I finally um, decided that I needed to frame the last square from that blanket and a, 
it came in like a big copy paper box, but obviously no one wants to keep a big ugly cardboard box. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it. Let me open this up, hang on. All right, you guys, there had to have been a good sale because I got all, like quite a bit of yarn in here, but I don't remember how much it was. Maybe it was like 30% off and then free shipping. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay, so I got a bunch of this Loops and Threads Soft Classic. Um, it looks like I got one, two, three, four different ones of this, two solid and two variegated. Um, the solid ones are 354 yards, seven ounces, 324 meters, 198 grams. Uh, the color is called Butter, it's a four weight. They recommend 5.5 millimeter knitting needle and crochet hook, 100% acrylic, machine wash, tumble dry low, made in Turkey. And by the way, these new labels, the color is no longer by the UPC code, it is by the QR code. So if you're looking for the color names, it's there. Uh, this one is called Butter. I don't know why I needed yellow, but perhaps um, at the time I needed yellow. <laughs> this one is called Mint. You can't have too much green yarn, right? Um, and then the variegated ones have less yardage, 252 yards, five ounces, 231 meters. 141 grams. The color on this one is called Bluebird Multi. And it's honestly not that soft. It's not as soft as like this yellow one. This yellow one is really soft, but that's okay. It's super pretty. And you know what? I think it would probably match this. Yeah, why not? Okay. And then the other one that I picked up is called Rockabye Multi. And I have no idea what my plan was for this. No clue, because it was a month ago. Okay, then these must have been on a good sale too. This is Loops and Threads uh, Carousel Twist. And I do have a couple other ones like this, but I don't have these colors, I don't think. I might have this one color, but I can't remember. Okay, this one is 213 yards, 5.3 ounces, 195 meters, 150 grams. This is a five bulky, 100% uh, acrylic, 5.5 millimeter knitting needle and crochet hook. Machine wash, warm, tumble dry low, made in Turkey. And I got four different colors. This one is called Tide Pool. So it's green and it has like the blue, blue specks and like some, I don't know, olive green specks in it. Then I got this one, which is called Limoncello. And that one is yellow with all kinds of different color specks in it. Oh, it's so pretty. This one is called Orange Fizz, and it looks more like a, like a creamsicle color. It does not look orange. I mean, it's obviously orange, but it looks more of like a creamsicle color. And then the last one I got is this one, and it is called Sailor. And this is mostly white with blues and greens in it. And I don't know what my plan was for these either. I have two other ones but I don't remember what I was gonna make with them. I mean, it's a five bulky and it has 213 yards. So at least a hat, like a big chunky hat, but it's not even really that chunky. I don't know, we'll figure it out, you guys. <laughs> and then it looks like I got a skinny cake because <laughs> I don't have enough skinny cakes. Um, this one is called Macaroon, Mac Macaroon, Macaroon. Okay, so this is a Karen skinny cake and I have an obsession with them. And I'm actually using one right now. I'll show you guys probably in the next video if I can finish my project. This is sold exclusively at Michael's. Uh, this is, let's see, this one says machine wash and dry. It's a three weight, four millimeter knitting needles and crochet hook, 8.8 .8 ounces, 250 grams, 795 yards, 727 meters. Original price is $12.99 and made in India. Oh my gosh. You guys, the color on that. Holy smackerels. Seriously. Like this is my jam right here. It's so pretty. So pretty. Okay, and then the only other two cakes I got were these coconut cakes. And I thought I had this one, but I think it's, a, it's like a more of a blue-green one. I think I was gonna try and make market bags with this. This is a Karen coconut cake. 
and I'll tell you about this one. It is 78% cotton, 22% polyester, machine wash and dry. It's a four weight. They recommend four and a half millimeter knitting needle and crochet hook. Eight ounces, 227 grams, 481 yards, 440 meters. This one is called Jam. Like, I don't know, raspberry jam, grape jam. <laughs> and then this other one I got is called Lemon Lime. Holy smackerels, that is in your face. And I don't know how I feel about these little doodads popping off the yarn, but I have not used them yet. So I guess I'll let you know once I actually use them. So now I have a total of three of these, but we'll see what I make with those. And the last thing I got, which I'm kind of disappointed now because now that I'm, I opened up the box, I realized the frame is broken. I got one of these shadow box frames. Um, it says it's a t-shirt display frame. 13 by 13 inch. And I'm not gonna display a t-shirt, but I don't know if you guys can see. The box even said fragile, but it's cracked. So I have to bring this back. So the blanket I was talking to you about was um, a blanket that I put together for my cousin's brother-in-law. His mom, his grandmother had made some squares. They put them in a copy paper box and wrote on the box, what the squares were for. I'll show you. I took a picture of it because I did recycle the box. I didn't want the box anymore. And the box said white granny squares for Afghan for Phil from Grandma O. So I took a picture of the copy paper box and had it printed out. And then this was the last square that was in the box that wasn't finished. And so what I was gonna do is I was going to take this and somehow um, put this in here in this um, shadow box. And when I give him the second blanket that I made from all the squares, I would give him this too. So that was the intent for this, but now I have to go and return the frame and get another one from Michaels. No big deal. Okay, that's the Michaels box. <laughs> all right, so then um, I have two more things to show you. I was out with my fr local friend, Paula, and she had asked me if I had a specific skinny cake um, in my stash, and I did, and she needed it. And she was at Walmart and found some mandala cakes on clearance, so we did a little swap a -rooney. So let me show you the mandala cakes that she picked up for me. And then we went to Michael's and I used a 50% off coupon on something. So I'll show you that here in just a second, hang on. Okay, so these are the mandala cakes that my dear friend Paula found for me at Walmart for $3 a cake, thank you very much. <laughs> so, and it's purple, you guys. Oh yes, ma'am, yes. Okay, so this is just a regular mandala cake. The color is called Hades, H-A-D-E-S. 5.3 ounces, 150 grams. I'm telling you the specs because these are normally all still available. Looks like just this color was clearanced. 590 yards, 540 meters, machine wash and dry, 100% acrylic. It's a three weight. I can't read what they recommend um, for a needle size made in Turkey. So she gave me two of these and I traded her a skinny cake that she needed to finish a project. So Paula, thank you so much for picking those up for me. And then we were at Michael's and I had a 50% off coupon. And so I picked up a black Bernat blanket yarn. Originally $12.99, I got it for $6.49. Um, and I am currently in the process uh, of batch making bumblebees and I need um, I don't need it. I have a whole ball of black yarn, but I don't want to run out. So I picked up another ball of Bernat blanket in black, but um, eventually you guys will see the batch of bumblebees. <laughs> All right. So I have one finished object to show you today only because this video is extra long and I don't want it to take forever. So let me get it, hang on. All right, you guys, I'm wondering if you can see what it, what it is because it's pretty bright. <laughs> so if you need some sunglasses, you might want to get them right now if you're not into bright colors. Okay, so a long time ago, and I'm talking maybe a year or two ago, I ordered some neon yarn from Hobby, H-O-B-B-I-I. And my intent was to make a neon colored blanket. I even went so far as to go to Walmart and get some black yarn so that I can contrast it. And it has been sitting in a project bag 
for probably two years. <laughs> so uh, I had a bout with a stomach flu a couple weeks ago and spent quite a bit of time on the couch. And as I was on the couch, I was crocheting this neon blanket and I did finally finish it. Now, what I fail to realize is that it is a queen size blanket, <laughs> but that's okay. It's okay. Um, I don't know who's going to get it. Um, if anyone gets it, I don't know. My daughter might claim it. Um, it's so amazing. So if you guys are interested in neon blanket, stick around. Okay. So I'm just going to show you the black that I used was this um, Mainstays 100% acrylic from Walmart. And I had two full big jumbo balls of this. So this was 798 yards each. So I used 800 and then, I don't know, five sixths of this other ball, um, a lot. It's a lot of black yarn. So I just wanna show you, this is the black yarn that I used. Now, when I purchased the yarn from Hobby, I had purchased, and I think this was um, a mistake, but I had purchased two different shades of blue yarn. I did not use any of this, so we'll take that out of the picture, but I did use this shade of blue. It's color 19, and I have, just so you guys know, I have all of these ball bands right here because these are only, let me see how many yards they are. These are, and it's all 100% acrylic and it is 109 yards a ball, okay? So um, let me see here, let me, let me separate them so I know how many um, balls I used of each. I had one, two, three, four, five different colors that I used and um, I believe when I originally made the purchase, I ordered six balls of each color. So let me see, orange. Um, the hook size that I used for this blanket is a six millimeter hook. And I just did a rectangle granny square blanket, which I will show you here in just a minute. I'm just trying to figure out how many balls I used. Okay, so for this color, I used um, two full balls and then not even half of another one. But this was the color that I started with in the center. So I did not use as much of this as I thought I would. So, um, but you'll see it in a second. Okay, so like two and a half balls of the blue. Then I had this green color and I used four full balls of the green and maybe half of another ball. Like there was no rhyme or reason to this blanket. I'll show you in a second. So I still have a whole full ball of this and like half of one of these. Then I had orange and I used, no pink, I'm sorry, pink. No, pink was last. Hold on, orange was next. <laughs> I'm like, the blanket is in my lap. I used six full balls of the orange and then I didn't even make it around the very last row. So you'll see that, I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. So six balls of the orange, and then I had this uh, highlighter yellow color. So I used three full balls, and then most of a fourth ball on that one. And then the very last color is pink, and I used four full balls. I have one full ball left, and then less than half of another ball. Okay, so are you guys ready? This is my um, stomach flu blanket. <laughs> and it is queen size. So you're probably not even going to be able to see the whole thing. But I did take a picture of it on the bed, on a queen size bed, and you will be able to see the whole thing. Okay, so like I said, it's queen size. Let me see if I can just fold it in half. All right. <laughs> so um, it's a rectangle granny, and you can see there's, there's no, like, I didn't make it an even number of rows for each color. So the blue has two different sections. The green has two different sections. The yellow is that one in the middle. The orange has two, and then the pink is at the end. And trust me, I did not realize it was going to be this big when I was working on it, um, but it's humongous. So I'm going to insert pictures of this 
Like I, I can't even hold it up to do it justice. Here, let's see if, like if you guys can even see. So this is folded in half widthwise and lengthwise. And it's still, it's still pretty big. <laughs> so here, I'm gonna put the pictures in right here so you guys can see what it looks like. So what do you guys think? Oh my God, I'm in love with it. I'm so sad that it took me this long to make this neon blanket, but I am just in love with it. My friend came over and she's like, so what are you gonna do with that? And I'm like, I don't know, I really only gift my blankets. So um, I'm just in love with it. So, so that's what I was working on when I wasn't feeling well, but I'm much better now. So, all right, that's all I have for you guys for this yarn yak. And trust me, I have other finished objects, but these videos take forever. So hopefully I'll come on here again. I don't know if I'll have a wings update this week because I don't have any packages for wings. Wings for the month of April is fidget toys, uh, worry worms, stress balls. And I am working on some worry worms right now. So anyway, you guys, please leave a comment go check out all of the people i talked about down below um lisa from happy to hook uh loving any uh, loving every stitch by ruby baby gary from urban yarn crystal from bag o day just go check them all out because they're all amazing by the way i didn't i did it's just a granny rectangle if you guys are interested in the pattern just um search on youtube granny rectangle crochet blanket and you'll find it. it. You can adjust the number of starting chains to make it like more rectangular, but this was fine for me. Oh my God, I love it. Leave me a comment, let me know if you watch Gary or Crystal or Lisa, <laughs> and let me know what you think about what they posted. I think Crystal posted a picture of all of us sitting on her couch with her dog, Georgie. Um, I think she posted that on her community tab. And then uh, Gary, I haven't watched his video yet, and Lisa posted the video of us cleaning up her yarn room. So it was such a good time, you guys. I highly recommend that if you can find some local yarn friends, that you go and hang out with them. Because let me tell you, yarn friends are the best friends. And you guys are really awesome too. I really appreciate you guys. All right, that's it. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.